African nations have reached their boiling point with the constant sidelining they face in global institutions. Lately, they've been demanding a well-deserved place at the prestigious table of global organizations. Despite Africa's incredible potential, it continues to be the underdog in international politics, and its influence within these organizations is sadly reduced to a mere footnote, lacking any substantial impact on the operationalization of global politics. Irked by this, African countries are finally saying no to second-class treatments and demanding equal standing in global institutions. Welcome, this is Rain Smith, and you're watching the New Africa Channel. On June 22, Emmanuel Macron, the President of France, will host a development finance conference in Paris, which will gather influential figures from around the world. The event called the Summit for a New Global Financial Pact aims to address crucial global issues like world bank reform, climate finance, and debt distress. Among the attendees will be Li Chiang, the Chinese Premier, Janet Yellen, the United States Treasury Secretary, as well as 16 African presidents. The significant presence of African leaders at the summit reflects concerns that the continent is being overlooked as international focus shifts towards assisting Ukraine and tackling climate change. This perception has led to growing frustration regarding Africa's limited influence in global institutions such as the World Bank, IMF, and UN. Additionally, some concerns that proposed reforms may once again exclude Africa from meaningful participation and decision-making processes, exacerbating the continent's sense of being left behind. Africa's primary geopolitical aspiration revolves around the reform of the United Nations Security Council. Astonishingly, nearly half of all Security Council meetings are centered on African affairs. However, the composition of this influential 15-member council, with its five permanent members yielding veto power and ten rotating members, paints a grim picture for Africa. It possesses a meager three rotating seats allocated to its nations. Not a single African country holds a permanent membership, highlighting the dire need for reform in this pivotal institution. When decision-makers are quite far from the realities of the country, it's more difficult to build empathy, says Vera Daves, Angola's finance minister. That's why it's so important for us Africans to be more present within the institutions. Despite its existence, the UN Security Council has made minimal headway in curbing conflicts that plague various regions of Africa. As time passes, the security situation within the African continent, as well as global security, continues to deteriorate. It becomes increasingly evident that the Council has failed to discover a sustainable solution to put an end to these conflicts. One cannot help but wonder how progress can be achieved when the very individuals you are striving to assist are being excluded from crucial global discussions. The inertia of the Security Council in the fight against terrorism in Africa underlines the failure of the multilateral system, said Macky Sall, the president of Senegal. With a newfound determination, Africa is demanding not just one, but two permanent seats, along with an additional five non-permanent seats, on a revamped council consisting of 26 members. No longer content with sitting on the sidelines and passively awaiting decisions made by others, the continent ardently seeks increased involvement and active participation in renowned institutions such as the IMF, World Bank, and International Development Association, Africa is ready to assert its voice and shape the decisions that profoundly impact its future. How do you think Africans can lobby for more participation in global institutions? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to like the video, share, and subscribe to the New Africa channel for more exciting future videos.